post and go. I just want to post and go. Post, post and go. I have a lot of work to do today. Okay. Um. So today, actually, I filled out my calendar for October. Um. And I actually think I'm booked. I'm all booked. I'm. Bu I'm booked and busy. So I'm booked and busy for October, and it feels so good. Actually, like laying down what you have to do, the clients that you have. Um, and yeah, so today I'm actually working with one of my um, clients that I love so much. She has a like an essential oil and sage line product line, and she's actually doing like healing with poems, right? Yo, I have two. I have two clients that are doing like. Healing through poem. Okay. Seeing her promotions in November. I'm pretty probably note that down. So I'm just noting down like um, I've had follow up calls with my clients, right? And these are follow up calls just to see what they're doing, see how things are going. Um, like I want my clients to feel like flat. I'm not talking properly today. I want my clients to feel like family, like how I would want to be felt. How I would want to feel is how I would want my clients to feel. And that's just like, that's my value. Like that's what I value. So I want my clients to feel like family. Um, and this client, I should probably make it red, is amazing. She, yo God. Why do you bless me with some of the greatest clients ever? Some of the greatest hmm. campaign for November. So that means that I have to get, so right now I'm just trying to figure out deadlines and ooh, speaking of dead, my battery. Today, no, probably get that to her Friday. Uh, we gotta get that to her Friday. Today's Thursday, so probably have that completely done Thursday. So I'm not getting charged for it. Mark it down. Today's I have all of this to do today. All right, so I have that down because I am not, not. I refuse to get charged for that. I refuse to get charged for this okay you guys sorry sorry I just it's so good to invest in your business sometimes and just paying for like just honey just 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 pay for that membership okay because this is going this is going in the long run this is going to be so smooth for me and I can put my due dates so I can do my draw concepts and I can see the details I am here for a sauna hello draw concepts get concepts approved um, design um, Concepts into digital. I don't know. Okay. So, what am I looking at? I hope you guys can see that. I really hope you guys can see this. It'll be a bummer if you can't. And I really should probably just quick time this. I probably should just quick time it. And maybe add it to the video. Okay. Okay, so can I drag it? To do, doing. Oh, okay, got it. Done. To do, doing, done. That works out. Right. To do, doing, done. I think that works out. What layout best works for this project? Let's get. All right. So now it's asking me what layout works better. Work. So am I gonna have to? Am I going to have to do this for each project that I put in? 
Um, what layout works best for this project? You can change this later. Oh. Um. No. Not a board. Twenty calendars. I gonna really do a calendar again. I feel like I have calendars everywhere, and I'm tired of calendars. I don't like the timeline. I think I like the list. So how do I get like the how do I get like the information on whether Nope. A list it is. So you gotta do process see? You gotta do a process of elimination and figure out what works. What, what I can't talk today. And honestly, just figure out what works best for you. What works best for you is not gonna work best for the other person. Did it? So who's working on this project with me? Um, who's working on this project? I am. Okay, so take me to my project. Ooh, my okay so here listen my 30 free my 30 day free trial starts today and then i can see the details for today i am what is this oh today i'm actually planning content yesterday night my face is so dry yesterday night i planned out all the content for October all the content for October um, two and a half weeks I did not plan it when the month started so two and a half weeks of content and I need to have one day this week to actually do everything and put it into later what I wish I can honestly just do is plan it off for the rest of the month that's what I'm gonna do once I can finish sorry the rest of the year once I can finish this If you like getting ashy, so um, once I can finish October, I don't care. I'm following this same format that I did. So like on Tuesdays, I have something going on. On Wednesdays, I have a specific something going on. Like I'm following this same format just so that yo, I can't be thinking too much. Like because I gotta focus on other things but I need um, my Instagram page running like and I always say this IG is not but I really come like I really came out here on some on some serious tips okay IG is not your store IG is not your business what happens if IG disappeared what happens if you couldn't log into IG like what happens if you couldn't log back into IG does that mean that all your like all your contact list, your email list, all of that's gone? Like all your customers are gone? Like even so, a lot of people do not use Instagram too. So Instagram should not be your storefront. I mean, it should complement and be used as a tool, almost like a window shopping tool like i use ig as like the window shopping i want my website to be the forefront of everything that it is that i do i want my email list to be the forefront of everything i do like i know what it is that i want but like just to get it done is so bloody hard i feel like a hot mess um so for today i planned i have the i have to put content out on my main page so i have planned out um the four V's of branding. I already have that, so that's good. I'm gonna just post that. The four V's of branding and a palette selection. Um, palette selection is basically just me putting together some colors within a specific shade that I do like. 
and i think this is gonna be cool this is gonna be an everyday not an everyday content but con something that i'm gonna keep posting out just so that people can even get um a feel of color and understand like oh these kind of go well together oh these don't go well together oh maybe i like these shades like finding out your brand's color like i realize is the most fun part with everyone so let's do it what am i doing how do i want to do this do i want to do this okay let me show you what i'm doing over there. all right so i was saying that i have this planned out so my four v's and what is my four v's of branding and my color palette selection and i'm going to lower the opacity of the drop shadow oh i should probably tell you what i'm creating i am making a picture like a kodak picture you guys challenge this you guys challenge the shiznit out of me I'm gonna do 1080 by 1080, 1080 pixels by 1080, and that is the standard Instagram dimension. So, you know what? I'm gonna have to get a bit, a bit more in detail. Yeah. What I was working on. Um, I think I like it. I think I do, and then we're just gonna put the name there. But there's something about this that I don't like. And I don't know if it is. That's he's at ten right now. Don't know if it's the distance that I don't like or the spread that I don't like. Mm. I need it to be. A bit more intentional. 